Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You know, it's your girl Keisha J. Lewis and I'm back with another video talking about what is a weight loss plateau and how can you break this plateau? Now, a lot of people don't really know what am I talking about? Like, you know, what is this weight loss plateau? Basically, what it is, is when you're doing everything that you think you should be doing, you're exercising, you're eating right, but when you step on the scale, you notice that the scale is just not moving. It's like you're wondering where is all the effort that you put in, where has it gone? Now, most of the times, you know, a lot of people like, you know, you might lose weight one week, the other week you notice that you gain it back or the scale is just stuck. No, it's not broken. You're thinking the scale is actually broken, but it's not. Now, all of us who are in this weight loss journey, we all encounter this same problem which is why they call it a weight loss plateau now in order for you to break this plateau right you're gonna have to do one of the following things now usually like I do researches online I try to see what other people say but for me I told myself I'm gonna try intermittent fasting right intermittent fasting is basically when you just don't eat for a certain amount of hours of the day now i'm telling you like that was something that created a lot of havoc in my life because i've never ever fasted before i've never ever fasted in my life yeah and i was telling myself it's either one or the other intermittent fasting or you're gonna have to change up your routine because your body get accustomed to routines and the moment that you're stuck doing the same thing every day, just that relationships, just like your everyday life, you're gonna get stuck. You're gonna get stagnant. So you're gonna have to spice things up, basically. You're going to have to spice it up, right? So you're gonna have to mix things up. So if you get up every day and you exercise by either walking or running, now you're gonna have to either do some jump ropes or some weight training. You're gonna have to switch it up because your body get accustomed to a routine. It get accustomed to knowing what, exactly what you do each day. So with me, when I was on my weight loss journey, like trying to lose that excess pounds, I was 224 pounds, as you guys know. And I was on the journey and I was just walking every day. And then I noticed that the scale wasn't really moving much. And I'm thinking, what the hell? Like, I'm walking like six days a week. I'm walking five to six days every day. And when I go on the scale, it's like a pound falling off or half a pound for the whole week. And I'm like, all that hard work I'm putting in and that's all. It, it, it this motivates you it makes you feel like you want to give up but then I do the research and I realize it's normal for you to hit a weightless plateau or to be stuck at one weight for a while you're gonna have to do something to shock your body you're gonna have to go into shock mode because your body's like a child you're gonna have to train it and discipline it the way that you want it to be so what I did when I was stuck I actually lost some weight and I was at like 190 pounds and I was stuck at 190 pounds for like three months honestly I was stuck and I'm like yo I'm gonna give up this is a waste of my time three months and every day I'm exercising I'm stuck at 190 like what the hell is going on so I went into shop mode I got up a morning and I did not eat any breakfast I drank a cup of tea some green tea I drank water and I'm like, I'm gonna fast today. I'm gonna put myself into a shop mode. And I did not eat anything for that whole morning until about four in the evening. I drank water, I drank green tea, I drank my ginger garlic tea throughout the whole morning till the afternoon. And my belly started to create havoc. It started to go crazy, bawling down the place, acting ridiculous. And my mind, was like, I'm gonna die. How am I gonna survive this? With no food, I've never fasted before. I started to panic, I, I had cold sweat. You're gonna feel your body like, you know, you feel like you're shivering because you, I was going into maybe about 10 hours. I probably didn't eat until about four or five that evening and I didn't eat, for, you know, I woke up, I didn't eat whole night. So when you calculate all the hours, I probably didn't eat for about 16, 17 hours. But something happened in that moment while I was fasting, 
while I was intermittent fasting, I started to see things that I never saw before. And when I say I started to start see things, I'm not talking nothing crazy or voodoo. I'm talking about my mind started to shift. I started to think math that wasn't math thing to me started to add up. Things that I didn't see before, like, you know, my life, YouTube. I started to say, Keisha, you need to share your journey. I'm like, but Keisha, you're not that confident. How are you going to go on camera? But because I was fasting, your mindset starts to clear. Things that wasn't seen before start to be clear to you. You now start to think deeper. You go into a different zone. Your whole body is in shock. But now, like, I'm starting to calculate things that I wasn't great at maths. And everything was just adding up. And at that moment, I realized that my belly started to, you know, it started to cool down. It wasn't acting crazy anymore. I started to feel light, like a weight was lifting up off of me, like a weight, a baggage, a burden just lifted up. And in the evening when I broke my fast, and I, I think I probably drank like a smoothie or something, and the next day when I went on the scale, but well, I mean, I got up the next day, I went and exercised. My body was, yeah, I was feeling a little weak. But when I came home and I went on the scale, I mean, I was stuck at 190. And the next day I was like 187. I was at 187 the next day from one day of fasting for like 16 hours. And that's when I realized this, pla this thing of breaking the plateau really works. So you could either intermittent fast or you could change up your exercise routine. If you normally exercise in the morning, you could change it up and do it in the evenings. You could also um, get more sleep. Yeah, get more sleep. You need to rest. You need to get more sleep. I am guilty of that. I don't get as much sleep as I need to, but there's days I don't exercise every day. Your body needs time to heal and rest and restore. And I do take a break. I do take take a sleep. A girl like to sleep. And when I get up, I feel refreshed. So all I'm telling you today, guys, when it comes to weight loss and weight loss plateaus, you could break it. But you're going to have to make a sacrifice. And the sacrifice will either be intermittent fasting or you could change up your exercise route. If you normally walk every day, try jogging. If you normally jog every day, try doing some cycling, try doing some swimming. You're gonna have to, I have done all of that. I've changed things up. Now I'm currently at a plateau. I've hit a plateau for about two, three months. And that's because I have hit my weight loss goal. I have surpassed my weight loss goal. My goal was 180, I'm currently 170. So I am just living a normal life. I do exercise at least three to four days a week. I used to exercise six days a week. Now it's only three to four days a week. And I do still continue to eat, you know, my good food. I never went on a diet where I was starving myself. I continue to eat my good food, but I made sure that my meal was balanced. I make sure that my meal is fulfilling and it gives me the nutrients that I need. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. This video, stay tuned for the next video. I'm outside in the Caribbean air, in the Caribbean breeze, and I want you guys to enjoy your day. Have a wonderful day.